How's it going YouTube? This is Skull and today's video is sponsored by AeroZoom. So AeroZoom has reached out to me to uh, show off a product of theirs and that is their awesome acoustic foam. So um, in my case, um, I don't have that much echo in my room because I got heavy carpet on the floor, but for a lot of people, particularly streamers, you'll want to dampen that echo as much as possible to make for a good sound quality whenever you're on the microphone. And what better way to do that than with AeroZoom's acoustic foam. This will install virtually anywhere. It'll really make sure that that echo is non-existent in your room. And it comes in all sorts of shapes and colors, most of which AeroZoom is the only company in the world to offer. So, for example, today they sent me these wedge-shaped red foams that will be so easy to install and I will show you where I install them and they've also given me the black shaped wedges but you can get them in a variety of colors and shapes and I'm going to install them right now this looks like a good place to put it uh, right here where I sit down and record all of my videos so um, I feel like putting it right here would be perfect right here All right, the panels are installed and fit in place. They're not going anywhere. And honestly, I'm having a hard time hearing the difference, but as long as you can hear the difference, that's what matters. I will say, it's a little harder to hear myself talk. I guess it means they're working. So thanks AeroZoom for sponsoring this video, for sending me these foam panels to demonstrate to you guys. Remember, they are the leader in noise canceling foam panels for you to put in your room for various acoustic purposes and they're the only manufacturer that offers some kinds of shapes and colors so if you want customization go with AeroZoom. That does it for now. I should probably go get my hearing checked. Welcome to another attempt at uh, Pokemon Blue speedrun. Once again, apologies to the judges who will have to sit through and watch this. I know I screwed up last time, hope I don't screw up this time. And I will be taking notes from my last stream. I have my last stream up on my phone. Enough chit chat, let's go ahead and get this going I suppose in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm going to be focusing really hard on this. And for anyone wondering, I am using a Super Game Boy 2 on a Super Nintendo, running through RGB through my OSSC. Um, gotta name myself Skull. It's a speed run, but I'm gonna call myself Skull, dang it. I'm gonna give a shout out to uh, my rival. His, uh, you know, because the Minnesota Vikings are going to the Super Bowl. So, uh, Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are going to the Super Bowl, right? It, it would have to be the Vikings. It wouldn't be some sort of stupid team like the 49ers versus the Chiefs, would it? That'd be silly. And for anyone wondering, I am doing the Abra Missing No Underflow method, which is by far not the fastest method. But it is uh, what I'm going to be doing today. And inevitably, I'm going to mess up at some point. I just hope I don't have to reset the whole run. It'd be way better if I didn't. Let's see if we can't get a really fast rival fight. Not much he could really do for this fight, just tackle and hope that he doesn't go for um, growl or tail whip or anything. And I believe I'm auto healed after that battle. That's the last time we're going to be healed up. Um, that That's the last time that Bulbasaur is ever going to be healed up as long as this run continues. Alright. <laughs> we're 45 seconds faster with that parcel now. My, what a difference a good Route 1 makes. Man, my movement is on point. Eh, that guy had to walk that way. Flawless Route 1! <laughs> Flawless. I want to end up at 16 tackles, which means I can't use any more than that here. Level 8, that's perfect. 
Now I just need to find a metapod to find a metapod to waste the rest of my power points on. I need 16 tackle, 36 growl. Why do I not know leech seed? Wait, did I use it one too many times? <sighs> Can't believe I just did that. Why did I not learn leech seed? Should have learned it, right? Leech seed at level 7! Oh, I know why! <laughs> it's because in Gen 1, if you skip the level where you learn the move... Okay, the run was over anyway when I skipped level 7. <laughs> okay, I my brain was focused on trying to figure out why I didn't have leech seed. It's because you learn it at 7, which means you cannot skip 7. So, I need to go into the wheel fight at level 7 anyway. Would you ever do a Gen 3 speed run? Probably not. I, uh, I like Gen 1, and it's the fastest Pokemon game to play through the whole way through, so I, I would probably just stick with this. Okay, try again. Three, two, one, go. Come on, please just use Growl a lot. Blink that. That'd be great. Thanks, um, Chinya, for the massive $10 donation. Holy cow. Just reached our donation goal for today. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was a crit. Okay. Oh, what? I got one of my own. Potion not needed. What's the best time for this speed run? I'd, I'd like to say like 15 minutes. It's something really short, way shorter than what I'm doing here. But it requires a lot of literal RNG manipulation, which I am not doing here. Level 8, that's what I like to see. Okay, now I need to find that Metapod. Not go over on uh, my Growls. You can't see it, but I just have one thumb on the left D-pad and one on the right, and I just have them going back and forth, 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 back and forth. Back and forth, 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 back and forth. The good news is it took me like 10 minutes to brock through walls the first time, so uh, even if this takes me like 10 encounters to get a metapod, as long as I do brock through walls correctly the first time, then I'm actually going to be saving so much time. 16. That's exactly where I need it. Okay. That's good. I'm all set. Okay, I need to buy escape rope. Paralyze heal. Yeah, I need one more thing. I need to toss two of these two. I don't think the item particularly matters which one I get. Uh, I'll just get uh, burn heal. Okay. Okay, about to brock through walls, so let's do a safety save right about here. Brock through walls. I'm just stressing a little. Tiny bit south. Whoa. Is this right? Yeah, this is right. No, it's not! I should have been one more to the left. Oh, man, that was perfect up until that moment. Man, can you imagine how awesome that would have been if I got it first try? Life is tough. Pretty sure I just go right here till I see that girl trainer. Then one more step to the left. That would have been amazing if I'd gotten that first try, I swear. I probably could have finished the run in under 25 minutes. As it is, I think under 30 is still possible. Okay, I'm in the correct tile this time. Okay, I just go straight down now. Don't have to worry about anything till I get to uh, Saffron. Then hop inside the door. Remember, it took me like... It took me up until, like, 25 minutes last time I did this to get to this point, so I'm definitely making a lot more progress this time. Okay, set this as the warp point, then go and get the Abra. Something like six to seven minutes faster than last time. Is 39 minutes my personal best? Yep. So far, the only time that I have finished this game at all is uh, 39 minutes. Wait, we want to deposit Bulbasaur? We want to deposit Bulbasaur. That's what we need to do. So, Bulbasaur's fight against the Metapod is the last thing it's ever going to do in this game. Alright. Oh, wait. Should have split on the Abra. <laughs> Even splitting now, I'm still over 7 minutes above my PB. Hey guys, let's go fight the uh, Dojo guys. Come on, let's go fight the Dojo guys. Feels like fun. I'm in Saffron, I may as well go fight the Dojo. Why not? 
You know, I know I'm trying to speed through the game as fast as possible, but some things are more important. Look, I mean, we got our Abra. Our Abra is a Psychic type, and Psychic types are really, really strong against Fighting types, so I don't see how this can go poorly. You use the X Special, a lot of good that'll do. We'll just teleport all over this thing. See? Nothing wrong with this. Worked perfectly fine. Alright, well, we flew away from that trainer earlier. Let's go ahead and check on him now. What? That was not supposed to happen. Well, I am going really slow. Whoa! What happened to my game? What is going on with my game? Zero error? What is going on? <laughs> what did I do? Well, uh, okay, let's see if I can't... Okay, I can. I can soft reset. We're going back to the Brock through walls. <laughs> oh, man, that... <laughs> I've never seen that! That was not supposed to happen. Okay, back to Brock through walls. I've only done it twice already. <laughs> that was not supposed to... <laughs> I'm not even mad. What actually was that? Sometimes you just don't question it, guys. You just accept that there are things that you don't understand about anything. You just accept it. Most runs at that point would have reset. Not me. I'm in this to stay. <laughs> I really hope that I didn't need the Pokeball instead of the burn heal. I, I could have sworn it was random though, but oh well, okay. Um, it's possible that the run is dead and I'd need to reset to and buy a Pokeball instead of a burn heal, but I don't think so. I didn't deposit my stupid Bulbasaur. Let me go. Let me go and do that real quick, guys. <laughs> RNG manipulation. Okay, let's see. No X attack, just karate chop, karate chop, karate chop. Low kick is even better. Thank you very much. Okay, its attack is not its attack stat has not been um manipulated at all now, so um with any luck this time. <sighs> Alright. Let's do this again and buy the right freaking items, huh? Guess the items in my uh inventory do in fact matter. Okay, judges, no clear data, no nothing, just Third time today trying this, that's all. From the beginning, all I have wanted is to have an official Pokemon Blue speedrun to be put on the leaderboard. And this is what I've got to do to get there, that's all. Do you have to choose Bulbasaur for the run? Yep, you 100% have to. Everything I'm doing here is exactly what you need to do in order to manipulate the game properly. That was a crit. This is, yeah, basically every another crit! Wow! Ah, man, that Charmander's fast. Okay, that's why you pick up the potion. Wow, this is a bad fight. Wow! I need to get a crit on him, which isn't going to happen. It's way too fast. If it crits me right here, I'm dead. Actually, I can't win this. It's impossible for me to win this. Unless it grouse me every single turn from here on out and I get a crit. That did not happen. I really should reset right here, but I won't. He got like the perfect Charmander, which means I've got a really bad Bulbasaur. That was a flawless Route 1, are you kidding? My Bulbasaur is level 5, it needs to be 7. It needs to be 7 by the time I reach that Weedle Trainer. I think this run is dead. I don't think that it's possible for me to end up with exactly 16 power points on Growl. I think I'm going to go over. I need to get like 4... <sighs> no, it runs over. Sorry guys, runs dead. It's literally impossible for me to perform the glitch. That is- that was so unbelievable. I don't understand. Luck was not on my side. Yeah, this is a much better. I, I don't think it's possible for me to lose now. There we go. That was a much better run. Oh, so much better. No! I didn't mean to battle him. I hit the left button, it didn't go left. Super Nintendo controller's a little finicky like that. I have the safety potion, so I'm not worried about it. I'm I'm worried about 
running out of power points on the other Weedle that I need to get past. So I need to defeat this thing in three tackles exactly. So what do I need? Three crits? Runs over. So basically, once I get past the Weedle Trainer, I'll feel a lot better about myself. I just... I'm screwing up the early game, I guess. The, it's weird. The the actual manips after after I get the Brock Through Walls glitch, I can do. Everything before that should be the easiest stuff in the game. It's just playing the game normally. I just apparently just suck at it. That's all. Critical hit right now would be perfect. Okay, not even needed. Okay. That actually was pretty close, but we got past that. Okay, okay, I think I'm fine. Finally, we're making progress once again in, in one of these runs. Oh, man, it took, what, half an hour, something like that. How many resets? Four before I finally got past the stupid Weedle Trainer again. There we go, finally. Level eight, perfect. Did not over-level. I want that Metapod. Oh, <laughs> speak of. Okay, let's do this right. If I knock this out and gain a level, then run is dead again. Okay, that should be my last tackle. Please, no crit. Love to see it. Okay. Okay. Now move that. There. That. There. Okay. <sighs> We're through the forest. And the escape rope. Okay, make sure they're in a very specific order. Need to toss one of those. I think that's good. Let's do our safety save before we brock through walls. Okay, I got it first try this time. Okay, we're good. That's our warp point. Worst of it is over. From here on out, everything else should be pretty straightforward as long as I've done everything right. Okay, I do have one other idea of how this failed, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. Paralyzed Hill needs to be at the bottom instead of fifth. Pretty sure it needs to be Coin Case, then Paralyzed Hill, but it's slightly possible that I'm misremembering that and I don't put Paralyzed Hill at the bottom. That could be it, but I don't think so. I think I think that it is Paralyzed Hill in the sixth slot because that's what Missing No duplicates. This part shouldn't be hard. This should be a guaranteed work every time, but I'm just stupid, so I guess we'll see. Why would you leer me? Don't X attack it. Come on! Fight! Fight! <laughs> this had better not... This had better not affect that stupid missing... What is going on?! What is going on?! Attack me! Thank you! It better not affect the missing... No, I swear to God. Yeah, it might be the Paralyzed Hill. I'm double-checking the items just to make sure that they aren't all correct. Amazingly, I'm still on a 10-minute gold if I get this. What if I do this first? I don't think his... Because cause last time, he did an X attack, and then I reset, and then he just flat-up attacked. And then this, this, these other times, he's used Leers and X attacks, and then didn't hit me for like 10 turns. But they all resulted in the exact same trainer. So I don't know. I just don't know what the cause of this is. Okay, so now, what I did last time is I swapped it at this point, but I doubt that that's the issue. Well, hallelujah. Well, finishing within 25 minutes isn't happening. Come on, just knock me out, knock me out, knock me out. It's possible I have to flash my item inventory first. Just attack me! I'm in a fighting dojo where you go to fight! There you go, about time. Yeah, it's possible I just need to flash my inventory and that's what was causing that problem. All right. With any luck. 
Alright, I'm actually really close to finishing up the game now. Just gotta remember how to do the item underflow, which I don't. I didn't pay close enough attention, so... Safety save. Alright, let's do the underflow. Okay, how many of these do I toss? I want to toss nine? No! That's why we had the safety save. Alright. I need to swap it with the second Master Ball, that's right. Okay. Then I need to... toss nine... There we go, at long last. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I beat my old record by... Ugh. A little less than three minutes, actually. Wow, that was terrible. Is it going to be 36 flat? No, I think it could be a little less than that. I guess we'll see. Thirty-five fifty-nine. <laughs> Ah, oh. It took me two hours to finish this game once. Oh, man. I could have beaten it without glitches in that time. That's how long it took. Yeah, I was three minutes faster. I was three minutes and a second faster. That does include having to reset, what, twice for the missing no? Oh, man. And then reset once after the safety save. I'm so glad I safety saved there, though. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. It... Wow, what made me think that I could do it faster? Oh man. Judges watching this, I apologize profusely, and I really, really hope that this was good enough to be put on the leaderboards.